Hello there and good morning. In what East Antrim MP Sammy Wilson is calling a total betrayal, a leaked letter from Theresa May to the DUP leader Arlene Foster suggests that the Brussels plan to put a customs border across the Irish Sea will be put into place as an ultimate backstop to protect the EU single market, even should there be no Brexit agreement. The five-page letter seen by the Times is reported to say that this backstop to a backstop was still being sought by the EU, but that Theresa May said she would never let a divide come into force between Northern Ireland and the rest of the UK. The first backstop is, of course, the UK-wide customs union she's trying to set up. And the Irish sea border would be the backstop to that backstop with the result that we would have to stay in the customs union backstop until the Irish sea backstop to a backstop is no longer needed. The suggestion is that this backstop to a backstop clause will be written into the agreement despite the PM's previous assertions. And the PM is trying to reassure the DUP that it doesn't mean anything because it would never be brought into force or never be needed. In the letter she says... I am clear that I could not accept there being any circumstances or conditions in which that backstop to the backstop, which would break up the UK customs territory, could come into force. And of course, the only way it could never be needed or come into force within the Chequers plan is if the whole UK is kept inside a customs union with the EU, until the EU itself is satisfied that the backstop to the backstop is no ne longer needed, i.e. forever. It does not take a rocket scientist to work out that the terms of the backstop to the backstop will override any terms within the UK-wide customs union backstop that could allow the UK to leave it. So we will be in a customs union until that backstop to a backstop is not needed. And the decision on whether or not that backstop to a backstop is needed will not be in UK hands. We will not be in control. And here was me thinking that Theresa May had told her cabinet that she would not do a deal if the price was too high. Well, this price is too high. How could a UK Prime Minister ever sign up to a deal where this country is effectively dictated to by a foreign power? There is also concern that she could agree to this arrangement even in the event of a no-deal Brexit, which would of course be a total nonsense. Arlene Foster said the letter raised alarm bells for all of those who care about the integrity of our precious union and that the PM seemed wedded to the idea of putting a border down the Irish Sea. This is not a failure of the concept of Brexit. This is a failure of those negotiating. So, please let us all know what you think by leaving a comment below. And thank you for watching.